to uh, show you how to do a what they call a Solomon's knot. A Solomon's knot stitch is really complicated by my thoughts, but most people like it. It's very lacy looking when you make a hat or a blanket or a scarf. So we're going to start with a regular um, knot, I mean slip knot, your slip knot, and we're going to do two chains, a chain of two. So there's the one, kind of tightening it up because the first hole was a little loose. Okay, now we've got our two. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make a single crochet in this first little loop right here. So you go through, which is two from the hook by the way. You go through and you do a regular single crochet, which will look like that. I have my single crochet and we have about an inch and a half of a loop. And what you will do is you will hold this area right here and you're you're going to go up and you're going to catch it and you're going to bring it through. Now when you bring it through, make sure you hold your thumb nail or thumb through the little hole there of the big one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your needle nose of your hook, the needle, the, well, I call it a needle nose, anyway, the point of your hook and you're going to go back. I hold this down because it makes it easier. You're going to go back through that hole there and you're going to make a single crochet stitch again. And you're going to go up, loop it, and then bring it through those two loops. And there you go. That is a, a, a Solomon's knot. Okay, we're going to do one more. So we're going to go through. We're going to make our loop a little bit big, what we want it to be, the size we want it to be. I might have a little too long. Now we're going to go through, but we're going to put our finger above the stitch. We're going to put it above the big one that we're make, that we have our on our uh, hook already, okay? So you put your finger above it and it'll hold it down so that you don't end up closing it up. So you're going to go up, you're going to loop the yarn around the hook, you're going to bring it through, okay? You've got your hook, I mean your loop, but do not let go because this is where you're going to go through. You're going to go grab a hole because it's the easiest way to do it. Go back through that hole. Come up, loop it, and make a single crochet. You're going to go, and you should have two. You're going to go up, hook the yarn, as I've done, and you're going to go back through these two and make a single crochet, like so. And that is how you make a Solomon's knot. And I'm going to do another one. I'm going to try and go slow again. A little bit of the yarn here. Now I'm going to make my loop a little big, and I'm going to put my finger right in between. I'm going to go up, loop the yarn, bring it through, and do a, a just a regular stitch chain. But it's going to be, you know, like this, of course. And you're going to have your finger on that hole. Now you're going to hold on to your yarn, go back through, okay? Go up, grab the yarn, bring it back down and you're going to have your two, and this is where you'll make your single crochet stitch. And there you go. And that is a chain of three of the Solomon's Knot. Enough of these would make a very cute little hat. Or a, uh, a um, shawl, or a blanket, anything. It can make a nice little scarf or anything. Well, I hope that you enjoy this stitch, and... Happy crocheting. This video is brought to you by FaveCrafts.com. For more craft tips, ideas, and videos, visit FaveCrafts.com.